How's it going, everybody? Good? That's cool. So this is a bald eagle. Um, I'm here to talk to you about a project I'm working on. Everyone else here has done something, and I'm actually thinking about doing stuff. Um, and so that's where I am right now. I'm trying to create a project called OpenGov. Uh, so what, you know, a little bit about me. I'm a, I'm a recovering political consultant um, by trade originally. Um, you know, I worked in, I was actually, grew up in Texas politics, loved it, hated it. And I work, woke up one day <clears throat> in Iowa working on a presidential campaign and realized that I hated my life. Which one? <laughs> I'll tell you, uh, afterwards. <laughs> uh, Bill Richardson. Um, and so I packed up my bags and left and went and did Coro. Uh, if I talk to you guys about it later, I actually work for them right now. So um, it renewed my, you know, my, my commitment to the democratic process. And so what I saw when I was out on the campaign trail is that people don't know what their government is doing. And when people don't know what their government is doing, they don't trust their government, and you get stuff like this. You get people carrying guns at town hall forums, um, which is absolutely ridiculous. And so, you know, what I'm looking to do right now is give people the ability, <coughs> excuse me, to find out what their government is doing. So we're, OpenGov will essentially be a Google for legislation. We want to aggregate and organize local, state, and federal legislation and legislative context in a very simple and intuitive way. We're also going to give people the ability to interact with that information. Um, and so, you know, like, how are we going to do it? We don't want to reinvent the wheel. We don't want to do things that other people are doing. And so what we're going to do is be taking legislation, crawling legislation from across the Internet, pulling it back to our site, organizing it and aggregating it in a very simple way that people can understand. So, you know, before I go forward on this, I want to explain something that I just said. I, I talked about legislative context. And what that really means is like when you look at a piece of legislation, um, nobody knows what it means. Unless you're a lawyer, it's really difficult to figure out what it actually, understand it. And so what we really want to do is provide people the newspaper articles, the bill briefs, you know, the videos from the internet, the, the vetted blog posts that actually explain how legislation is going to impact their lives. And so what we're doing right now is we're creating a local project here in Pittsburgh called OpenGov Pittsburgh. It'll work with Pittsburgh, uh, City of Pittsburgh, Allegheny County, and the state of Pennsylvania. So it'll be, you know, January through May, we're going to be building actually the search function of this website um, for here in Pittsburgh. And we're still on that side. So yeah, I really like Andrew Carnegie, uh, mostly because he gave me the opportunity to come to an awesome master's program. Um, but what we're really doing right now is we're forming a team of people. Three of them are from Carnegie Mellon master's program. <clears throat> we have two policy students, excluding myself an information systems person, and two outside developers that are going to be helping build this work. So what's it going to look like? It could look like this. It could look like something else. Um, right now we're in the process of trying to, like, trying to benchmark some websites, figure out what's out there, figure out what we can do, uh, figure out what we can do better than what other people are doing right now. And so, you know, let's say that you decide that you want to type in healthcare to a website that looks like this. This is what you come up with. You know, it's not perfect. Uh, what we do like about it is the fact that you have the ability to categorize on there, and then you have the ability to narrow your search if you look at the sidebar. The, the middle part of it leaves a little bit to be desired, um, and right now we're in the process working with our tech folks to actually do something with that. Um, but, you know, that's, that's where we are right now. We're just sort of benchmarking some websites. So if you click on a piece of legislation, you know, this is a, a website called GovTrack. Um, they work on federal legislation specifically, and, you know, it's, it's nice, but it, we, I think you can do better. Um, it's not all that simple. It's not all that straightforward. Um, so I think that we'll be able to do better. So this really represents some of the interactive components that we're trying to build in there. So we're talking about building in some legislative tagging. So if you want to find out like the, the legislation, like about where in the legislation killing grandma is um, in the health care bill, you can actually tag, somebody who knows where that is can tag it, and then somebody will be able to search for that and actually be able to figure out where the tag is. So it's like, yeah, where's killing grandma? I Facebooked your mom. Um, so we're also looking to build on social networks. We don't want to be a social network. We want to link to other social networks and utilize what they have and create conversations in the spaces where people already feel comfortable being in. And so, you know, building a Facebook application, building some links with Twitter, et cetera. So that's a very pretty picture of our nation's capital. Um, you know, that really represents the scope of the project. While we do want to, like, keep the website uh, opening up Pittsburgh, we want to also expand it at some point to be a national website so that anybody from across the country can figure out what their government is actually doing. So we actually can't do this ourselves. Um, 
And that's something that we figured out recently. So we're going to be really relying on some pretty strategic partnerships. This is the most cliche picture that I could find on the internet for uh, creating partnerships. Um, and so, you know, you know, partnering with organizations in Pittsburgh, partnering with organizations in Washington, partnering with organizations across the country that are doing these types of things. Um, I haven't seen where the wild things are yet, and I really want to. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing it. So I've been telling everyone about the vision, where we are right now. The question is, like, what do we actually need in the moment to actually get this off the ground? And you're going to see in a second, one of the things we need is com some computer programmers. We have a team of two right now that are going to be doing some of the back end work. And, you know, this is probably what it'll look like at the end. It'll probably be a couple hundred pages of this at the end. Um, and so, you know, two people really can't do that by themselves. So if anybody knows anyone out there, um, I'm just going to give some shameless plugs for myself in there. Uh, if anyone knows anyone like that, uh, please let me know. And this is just a great picture I added it because I found it on the internet. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, everyone loves babies. Uh, but, the other, but the other thing we're looking for is uh, some people who know design. People know how to build an interactive experience on the web. Uh, and that's, you know, it's something we need to, it, it's going to be incredibly important as we move forward. And there's Barney Frank. I don't know how many people know about him. He's my favorite politician. Uh, on the website, a lot of people had pictures of themselves. So I would have put a picture of myself in here, but I thought Barney Frank would be better. So thanks, everybody, and look forward to having some beers with y'all.